Hey everyone, welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, last time, I think we did one main story or two, um, but we actually have, I think we might get to a main story today. We did more side stuff and it was fun. It was really fun, but oh, we did a DLC and oh my God, there was a small group of you. I swear there's a small group of you that do not watch my videos. You just scroll and see what happens because I could not have been clear that I did not mean to do the DLC and it was an accident and I did everything in my power for it not to happen. I swear my mod said they deleted like just tens of messages that were like, why are you doing the DLC? Why are you doing the DLC? Like I didn't explain 18,000 times that it was a mistake and that I didn't want to be there. And the only way I could leave was to do the first mission. Oh my God. I don't understand. Anyways, pettiness over. Thank you to everyone who laughed with me because you just got to laugh sometimes, you know? Um, the next thing that we're doing in my guide is bum, ba -da -bum, a Paris story. And it's called Critical Come Down. So if I remember correctly, these are the Paris stories. So we should be able to find it. I'm too lazy to just Google where it is. So instead, we're going to do this. I feel like Swiss Stash? That might have been something we were supposed to do. There it is. Stop the public censors from suppressing theatrical productions. I love that. Anyways, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching me play a video game. In case you missed it too, Assassin's Creed featured me on a reel. Um, an Insta... Yes, Instagram reel. It was a reaction to me uh, watching Ezio be a bard. And it was really cool. <laughs> it was really cool that they acknowledged me. It's a good, it's a good time, and this could not be possible without you guys, so thank you. I could just, I'm honestly just really grateful I get to have friends to play this with and talk to about it. It's quite a journey, huh? And I still don't know where the freaking thing is for... Maybe here we can get the viewpoint. It makes me mad. I can't seem to get the viewpoint in the Bastille. Hello. Could I have your ear for a moment? Mm-hmm. Pierre Beaumarchais. Playwright, diplomat, and bon vivant. Bon vivant. Could help me. The public censors are oppressing new players. Escargos. I just saw that. Fromages. They've paid a critic to give it a bad review. They're mm -hmm. planning to censor the production itself. Could you steal the review before it goes to press and then, um, suppress the censor? Yes! This is something I love to do as an assassin. I love to kill people who burn books, who suppress and censor art and theater and all of that critical thinking. It was a person? Yes. The French playwright and inventor best known for his three Figaro plays. He dabbled in everything. Arms dealing, diplomatic negotiations, watchmaking, rebellion, the slave trade, literature. Early on, he even gave music lessons to the daughters of Louis XV. He covertly helped the American revolutionaries in their bid for independence, and his play, The Marriage of Figaro, helped foment popular discontent against the aristocracy in France. However, once the revolution began, he ran afoul of the Revolutionary Committee and landed in the Abai prison. He narrowly escaped the wave of killings of 1792 known as the September Massacres, having been released literally the night before they began. Hell yeah, Pierre. Actors nowadays could never find the critic. You know, this shit's still happening today, too. If a play or a movie is too thought provoking, too against the norm, they hire critics. Unless I un misunderstood, maybe the critic is actually. 
Wait, I love this music. Oh, here he is. <laughs> People love to read a bad review. This one will sink Beaumarchais for good. But I haven't even seen the play. Oh, fuck off, dude. I think that's too soon to say the F word. I'm going to get demonetized. Uh oh. We're going to kill him instead. We are really sword fighting right now. I love it. Wait, who's killing me? Oh, come on. Oh my god. Scathing review. See that the review is printed in your journal under your name, payment and clothes. Oh, fuck off. Some of our theater artists absurdly believe that plays such as M. Beaumar Kai wrote during the full monarchy are still to be enjoyed now that we have a republic. Oh, come on. His play, The Marriage of Figaro, was thought to stand as an attack on the Aristos a decade ago, but its time has passed and it will soon be forgotten. Cannot our placements concoct theater in accordance with the new principles? Must we view this musty here, dredge? I'll get that. Okay, let's let's do this. Um, wait. Okay, well, let's read this. Written by the playwright Pierre Augustin, Marriage of Figaro played for the first time on April 27, 1784, at the all-new Théâtre de l'Odéon in Paris. It followed on from the Barber of Seville. The <laughs> Seville? <laughs> I don't know why it came out like that. The play was popularly received as an indictment of the aristocracy. Each of its five acts criticizes the privileges and hierarchies inherent to the ancient regime. In the play, the main character, the valet Figaro, must foil the plans of his master, the Count Alma Viva, who intends to take advantage of his bride-to-be, Susanna. The defining moment of the play is Figaro's long monologue in the fifth act when he directly challenges the Count. What have you done to deserve such advantages? Put yourself to the trouble of being born, nothing more. Yes! At the time, such words were scandalous, and within his broad comedy, Beaumar Kai had pithily summed up the logic of the coming revolution. In 1786, Mozart composed music for an opera based on the play. Nice. Nice. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'll kill you. You deserve to die. Can do. What's going on with the Beaumarchais review? Didn't dream that. Strange. that outfit. Fast travel? Okay, here. It's so confusing. I trust you've had a pleasant day, sir. 
Whoa! When did I get that much money? What did I do? Oh my god. I'm not gonna doubt it. Good evening. With Madame Bertin's costumes on the rack, we're sure to draw a more fashionable crowd. Okay, okay, so she's the one that we've been dealing with last episode. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, their leader, Renard, suspects we're after him. Well, it is a boy. Oh, man. We need you to draw him out. I was wrong Our about contact that. is waiting for you in Les Invalides. Good luck. Thank you. Where? Oh goodness, I don't I haven't been here. Well where can we fast travel <laughs> here? My stomach dropped. Are you kidding me? Sorry. I figure I might as well get this. Where is it though? Oh, I think it's underneath. That's fine. Body bags! Ooh. Where? Nice. What am I looking at? The taking and subsequent destruction of the Bastille would provide an unexpected and fortuitous supply of stone at minimum cost. Stones from the ancient fortress were reused to build this bridge, which spanned from the Palais Bourbon to the Place de la Revolution and its guillotine. The bridge was completed in 1791 and was named Pont de la Révolution, later to be called Pont de la Concorde. Okay, so that's actually really cool because it's uh, 1792. But also, if I'm right here, I would love to get this viewpoint. Nice. This will be a great view. Ooh, they got me. They got me good. Oh, I thought I was dead. Okay, okay. We gotta kill them. Stop! Where are you getting these guns? I thought I was dead anyways. Thomas Aquinas. Hmm. 
Again, am I okay? It's not real, Megan. Buy some. Is it in here? I don't think so. Ah. Yay! Oh, here we are. Sorry, 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 sorry. Good, you're here. I think I know how to draw Renard out. I've put it about that I have for sale a certain diamond necklace. Renard would very much like to use it as a rallying symbol for his troops. There's just one problem. Yes. I don't have a diamond necklace. <laughs> oh, I'm I have to sure steal one? Oh. That. Okay. There's a kitty. Okay, stealing from there. Nice. We'll see. Oh, stay there, you! Bloody revolutionary bastard! I love that I drank them as a medicine going down. Okay, that's one way of doing it, I guess. Oh my god, yeah, this is this is tr 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 tricky. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Oh no. I think he's gonna come out, so. I have a mission. I don't want to fight you guys. I know. Just had to let him run for a little bit. What was that noise? Okay, thank you. I have a diamond necklace. Oh, it's right here. Okay, great. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what was that noise? It's Boomy. Oh, that's Yuna. They're so cute. Perfect. Stay out of sight. When you see Renard, take him. No, this is stupid. Stop. Also, I really, really, really need medicine. Oh, there's literally a store right there. Okay. Where's Renard? He sent me. You have it. Oh, right darn here. it. Let's see it. Monsieur Renard sends his regrets. Oh no. Perhaps next time, you'll send a better spy. What? Uh oh. I got him. Oh. <laughs> Wait, why? I literally got him twice. Where's Renard? Close. But his hideout's a fortress. You'll never get him. I've heard that before. <laughs> Yeah. Let's stop at the store first. Because I don't have medicine. I am anonymous. I'm crouching. I already spent 10 medicine. Step back here! I'll cave your skull in, I will! God, I hate this place. I hate these high conflict places.
Oh shit. Hey! Wait a moment! Citizen! Hold there! No tact, no grace, but I did it. Yay, they got so much money. Let's buy something. Let's get a little treat for that. Um, oh, I got these. I kind of like that one a lot. Yeah. He's looking good. Ah. Whoa, three shot. So now we're doing the food chain. Raynard's Renard. Raynard is dead. And Boomy's in here too. Hi, puppies. Paris, 1792. The city is starving. Red. No, no, please. no. Get out of there. Get back. Get back. <laughs> Food was coming into Paris and then somehow disappearing on its way to the market. Oh. Hmm. Let's go. Templars. Templars? Why are you taking a someone decided to follow the food chain? Therowin de Maricor, taking matters into her own. Yes, girl! Let's tell the royals that our families must eat too. Yes! The demonstration started out peaceful, but became violent as people got desperate. Let's kill these bastards! Paris Templars are framing rich Citizen people. Rioted, accusing merchants of the royals? Food. I mean. All I had to do was guide. The riots kept the people angry and the city unstable. Exactly what the Templars wanted. <gasps> Templars, you Find POS. And secure the food supply. Oh my god. Are you Mayor kidding Corsair me? The assassins a message, but she went after the Templars alone. You need to catch up to her. Nutter. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. 
I think Maricor dropped this. She's probably nearby. Okay. I hate the snipers. So annoyed right now. Stop. Stop. You see. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now? We good? That's it. I've got Maricor's location. Nice. Moderate filth, moderate scum.
Oh, she can hold her own. Bastards found me as I was trying to get out. Now they'll be watching for us. It means we have to move quickly. I've been tracing this group for more than a month. They've been stealing carts all over the countryside. People are saying the farmers are hoarding food and fixing prices, but it's not them. The National Assembly wouldn't believe me when I said there was something else at work. Mm. They tried setting a grain price to solve the problem, but I've got the name of the woman behind it all. Mm. Madame Flavigny. Supposedly, she's a couturier with a shop in Leal. She's not a couturier. I'm glad someone is finally taking an interest in helping. I can't take down all of her agents by myself. She's like, we gotta move quickly, and she's just strolling. Why is she walking so slow? She's like, we have to move quickly. Girl. That is not moving quickly. What is happening? Back from me. Uh. Hmm. You can start helping me with the guards over there. Take them out quietly. We don't need to draw more attention than we have. All right, sneaky assassin time. Take out the guards as quietly as you can. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really not in a stealth mood today. Okay, I will. I promise. Well, I shouldn't promise, but... That was sneaky. Wait, they didn't get hit by that? I guess we'll fight our way I'm out then. sorry, I, I didn't we'll fight our way out then. I'm really sorry. Could have done the cherry bomb. You can you can vanish. Vanish, vanish. Vanish, girl! I don't think I can use Berserk Blades around her. Oh, 
Okay, she's gonna die. I will make you pay. gets back to the people. You'll find Flavigny and her thugs in the marketplace. Good luck. I'd start by shutting down some of her pals. Those are groups I can... I'm getting so many of those creed points. I see a Templar. trying to.
Oh, they did tri trip me. Okay, I did not mean to do that. There's a fly going on me! a good tip don't play harder missions when you have fucking vertigo that's what i have right now no. please just leave me alone Will they do anything for me? Oh no. What cheer? Oh no. to do it again okay oh yeah that makes sense actually okay a shop yay is pretty cheap. Megan, that was not graceful. Oh my god. All done. Time to get out of there. 
Thank you. And this is supposed to be done with up to four people. And I'm like, soloing. <laughs> well, not really slow soloing, but. Nice work. Maricor will make sure this food gets to those. Yay! Who need it. Hand me sauce. Cool. Yay. Oh. Hmm, I wonder if I have to do better. Arno's tailored head. I mean it doesn't really matter because it's handmade, so nice. Um Paris story constructing a close shave it's what it's called so this is i saw level five highest difficulty paris story um we'll see if i can do it i'm not going to be stubborn especially since i'm not feeling well right now <laughs> But my stomach keeps dropping. That's how I know I have vertigo right now. Oh, sync points are nice. Hey, you want me to Nice. I gotta get that soon. That's a lot of money. Five more. How much is this? Because I might as well unlock it if it's not too expensive. I love the songs. I love hearing them sing. Beautiful. No, no. <laughs> I love when you're getting near, like, closer to the top of the viewpoint. It just kind of builds. It's just cool. It's very good sound design. Vertigo is the freaking worst. I love the awkward moment when we have like, when I have just tackled him and it's just like, hey, <laughs> tackled you. So, I'm pretty sure this is where this mission was supposed to be. This district. I think I have to come across it. So, I'm going to go east-ish. East-ish. You ever heard of that direction? 
Eastish. I think this is the East. Go eastish. a map on okay I'm actually close I think it was like right around here it said but I don't know if that's like the actual activity of the mission no see I'm in the wrong go north a bit It was like right on the edge. Maybe it's this. Who are you? Now, just go straight north, Megan, and you should stumble upon it. Unless I'm totally wrong. This 
is such a weirdly designed little thing, France. No offense. Oh my god, I need to pick it up. What's this? Please be it. Please be it. Yeah! See? Look, it's hard. Hell yeah. Some brigands have stolen parts of a new execution machine I'm building. New they help to lure me into a oh. Can you recover all the items for me? Oh, because it's just the time chronologically. Okay, the guillotine. So we were helping prepare. Okay. Okay. So it's mainly snipers. So, I know, I know. We're going to be extra careful. We are going to... I'm gonna redeem myself for all the lack of stealth. I'm gonna stealth it up. Okay. Let's get all these guards first. I don't know. Who really saw me? Where was he? I'm redeeming myself. This is my redemption arc. My redemption stealth arc. Oh. Yeah, Hassan. I like when they just say that. I think there are actually people down there. I see you. Okay. Oh god. I oh, got you. So they're really protecting the guillotine parts and stuff. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's way more than I thought. Who's getting me? This is a crazy number of guards, but we're going to do it. Hey, show yourself. I hope it seems like I got a lot of the snipers though. Now Jump off hates you, What's the point? 
I say, you want to lock off a head, one pussy foot around. Do it fair and square with a two handed blade. And the other one, that goes on top. <laughs> They're like trying to figure out how it works. Okay, 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 okay. That's not very comfortable. They have guns, but. Oh my god, oh my god, stop! Okay, I see, I see, I see. No more medicine. Void? I'm out of the restricted area. Leave me alone. I gotta fetch some medicine. Leave me alone. I know, I know, I know. Um, here's a shop. I should have gotten disguised by now. I just didn't think I'd be really using that. Okay, back we go. <laughs> Oh, so we don't have to get all, all, all. Okay. The choppy part constructed for a close shave. Retrieve. Oh, 
thousand. We should upgrade something. <gasps> oh, we got two points. I want disguise. Six. <laughs> oh, I see. This is a little tricky, this part. There's a sniper. We got the guillotine parts! Get in line, Jeff Bezos! down oh here okay there he is tobias we've recovered all the pieces nice all right then give me a hand would you see if it works. oh the shave genius device would save me much labor my friend can you imagine executing so many aristocrats by the sweat of my brow <laughs> I just hope this doesn't make killing people too easy. It's an ambush! <laughs> oh no. Lord. Hello, Arno. What? Oh shit. Oh! Let's take him down! I know, I know. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, wait. Oh, gosh. Okay, no, you can't just run ahead like that, honey. 
Did you die? Oh, fuck. Okay, guys. It's the next day. I had actually very, 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 very low blood sugar. Um, and I just thought it was a cute, quirky thing. Wasn't. I My blood sugar had dropped really bad the night before, and I woke up, like, drenched in sweat and all this stuff. And, like, I had super bad nightmares. It's a thing that happens sometimes. Um, but it was, like the night after so i thought it had gotten better but it hadn't so <laughs> i actually was very sick so definitely don't try to push through if you have blood sugar problems because you could die you could straight up die but i'm finishing the episode today so i'm feeling much better slept better all of that also, yes, I have to do this again, even though I finished three parts of it. Ugh, so. Alright then. Give me a hand, would you? We'll see if it works. This ingenious device would save me much labor, my friend. Can you imagine executing so many aristocrats by the sweat of my brow? <laughs> I just hope this doesn't make killing people too easy. <laughs> it's an ambush, dear lord. Hey, Honor. is so annoying. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, guys. That was a hard one, but we did it. That was a main story. Constructing cliche of the King's Correspondence. And we got to go get our money. We got a lot of money for that one, too. Oh, I'm not anonymous. So glad that worked. I know I used five billion smoke bombs, but they were their health goes down so fast. That's what got me the first time. So I ha I had to, and I'm I you know I'm rich, so it's fine. I'm not rich, rich, but I had to I had to do it. And we got the guillotine together. It's a really cool. Where did I go? Oh, okay, sure. We can fast travel here. Oh my god. Did that too fast. I don't want to go to Franciad. Look at that! That's beautiful! Full purse again.
finishing touches. If the workmen were able to break open a doorway in the basement, it would afford a way to come and go along the north bank, free from prying eyes. Okay. Should someone require such a thing. Fully renovated. Beautiful. It is completely renovated. I can get this. I like the shell. I kind of want a katana. excited for I mean this one's fine I'm excited for like rifles and stuff oh I can buy these I feel a little silly can I use them okay there goes all my money I can so he's just carrying a rifle instead nice <gasps> It's so pretty. King's correspondence. King is in possession of certain letters. <gasps> I hope we get to see him again. You summoned? <laughs> Monsieur Dorian, we have a task for you. More fetch and carry work, I imagine. I Two know. master assassins are dead, one by your own hand in defense of a Templar. Count yourself lucky this is the extent of your punishment. And Germain? is none of your concern. Oh. Last night, the Paris Commune declared itself an open insurrection against the king. As we speak, 20,000 armed revolutionaries Wait, that's true. They don't care that I killed Pierre? Even the National Guard are on the brink. Some of them have thrown in with the revolutionaries. France is splitting at the seams. Yes. And this doesn't please us. Yeah. The people are fighting for what is owed them. Well. Liberté, égalité. If we danced about on a simple scale in need of balancing, you'd be right. But the truth is more complicated. True. In putting Mirabeau's affairs in order, we've come across certain correspondences of a royal nature. They were besties. Mirabeau's in contact with the king. And he was rather less discreet than he should have been. If the king's copies of these letters were made public, the Templars would be in a position to expose and purge our agents across France. That's true. And I'm to slip in and find them first. And quickly. The Swiss Guard are badly outnumbered. It's likely they'll be overwhelmed before nightfall. Won't be the first palace I've broken into. I don't think he physically can like tone down his sass. I don't think he can hone it in. I think he's just a sassafras. Like how chill he is about all of this. Like you summoned. <laughs> I love him. Ready? Aim! What? Good work. Oh my god. Oh. 
Ugh, this sucks. Oh, shit. Well, we all know Robus Pierre fucked it up a lot. 10th of August. On August 6, 1792, a crowd gathered on the Champ de Mar once more to petition the king's deposition. An atmosphere of besiegement reigned in Paris, but it was not against foreign enemies that the insurgents sought to defend themselves, but those from within, those who were in a position to derail the revolution. Jacobins and Cordeliers took refuge in the Paris City Hall along with 7,000 soldiers. The king strengthened his positions at the Tuileries Palace from 2,000 to 3,000 men, mainly Swiss guards. Wait, where is Marie Antoinette? The queen. On the night of August 10th, with the monarchy just hours from its impending doom, the toxin sounded to mark the beginning of the revolt. Wait, 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 wait. Are we going to get him to try to, like, leave to Austria? Like, because they try to escape. So are the assassins the one that are going to try to get him out? That would be so cool. The insurgents wanted to ensure that the king would be unable to regain his rights. So that's the issue. But, like, you know, it is it is way more complicated. There's, like... You can't just, if you just, we'll get there. But the reign of terror was shit. The fighting was swift and brutal. The Swiss guard were massacred almost to a man. The king, meanwhile, took advantage of the confusion to slip away from the palace and place himself in the hands of the national convention. Funny how the noble are so rarely the first to act nobly. I mean, <laughs> I was about to die. Ultimately, the assault led to the demise of the legislative assembly, the formal abolition of the mar monarchy, and the creation of the National Convention. It would also lead less directly to the September massacres a month later. I bet we'll probably have to deal with that. Swiss Guard. The Swiss Guards were regiments of Swiss mercenaries hired to protect the French sovereign and his places of residence. I admire the Swiss. I almost feel half Swiss. I'd make the argument for Swiss cheese being the best in the world, but it would probably be full of holes. <laughs> the argument would be all about that. These Swiss regimens were highly sought after in Europe since the Swiss cantons were reputed to produce good, obedient, and ferocious soldiers. By the end of the 15th century, the Swiss Hundred Guard Saint Suisses was created and regularly stationed in Paris. By the middle of the 18th century, the protection of the Champs Elysees was entrusted to a detachment of 10 or so soldiers tasked with maintaining order and arresting lawbreakers. During the revolution, members of the Swiss Guard would protect Louis the 16th at the Chateau de Tuileries, but were overwhelmed and massacred on August 10th. Once the sovereign and his family had taken refuge in the Salle du Manège, where the national convention was held and where the monarch would later be judged. On reflection, might I quickly apologize for the Swiss cheese argument joke I just made? I've not been feeling well lately. <laughs> You're forgiven. Honest, quality of rhetoric amongst bloodthirsty rioters these days. Oh, That's, this is the way to get in. Okay, um... One way to do it, I guess. Oh, so he just has a rifle instead of a sword. That's funny. I mean, I might like it. We'll see. How do I get into anything? I'm trying to infiltrate the palace. Okay, well, I might need to try again. It's a little silly. Um, yeah, that was a little silly. I bet we can go around, get the snipers, go back down. Yeah, let's go this way. Duh. Honestly, the 
quality of rhetoric amongst bloodthirsty rioters these days. It literally laid it out for me. I was like, I choose not to see. Is everyone having fun? open windows over there did i miss some open windows no it's different the wrong button. I like the rifle. Ugh, oh my god. 
God, we have to clean this up, you know? This is wild. Who's this? Don't tell me that's King Louis. <laughs> don't certainly tell me. don't look like a blood crazed revolutionary. The hood is a bit sinister, though, if you don't mind my saying. No way. Don't Serving tell me. Serving as rear guard, are you? Convenient how that puts several locked doors between you and the fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not here at all. Not officially, anyway. But how often does one find the opportunity to poke about in a king's private okay. study? I was like, looking for anything in particular? State secrets, private correspondences, personal treasures, that sort of thing. I do hope we're not eyeing the same prize. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Certain letters written to the king, ripe for misunderstanding, should the wrong men find them. I see. Well, then perhaps we can help each other. I believe the king has built a hidden vault somewhere in here. Mm. If only we could find it. It's a beautiful study. Oh, it's Napoleon! <laughs> Had he been born a few weeks earlier, Napoleon would have been Italian. What a terrifying thought. He was born with the Italianized version of his name, Buonaparte, on the island of Corsica, which belonged to Genoa until the Genoese sold their rights to the French crown. The skinny Napoleon had a difficult adolescence, badly dressed with and with a heavy Corsican accent. His rustic manners were out of place among the smart young nobles who attended the same military school as he did. The future emperor, the booted Jacobin, was a bad boy who was often absent. In six years, he notched up 38 months of leave for 33 months of presence under the French flag. So, in fact, he was quite Italian. <laughs> in 1791, he spent several months in Corsica to help Pascal Paoli, the Corsican li liberator who would go on to hate and distrust the Bonaparte family. He exceeded his leave of absence and was struck off on January 1st, 1792. Although a civilian once more, he was promptly appointed colonel of a battalion of volunteers that would fire on demonstrators protesting against the civil constitution of the clergy. Without being ordered to do so, he took the citadel of Ahakio. Ah ah you say self-motivated, I say rude. <laughs> Later, he took part in the revolutionary days of tw the June 20th and August 10th, 1792. His participation in the siege of Toulon, though he did not take the city all by himself, and his mastery of artillery gained him the admiration of Augustin Robespierre, younger brother of the revolutionary leader Maximilien Robespierre, who appointed him brigadier, brigadier general and put him in command of the artillery of France's army of Italy. Interesting. Following the failed royalist push of 13 Vendemiaires, where under the orders of Paul Barras, whose mistress he would go on to marry, he gunned down the Voltigeurs and he returned to Italy this time as general in chief. It was during the next four years that his life forever changed. Better than anyone, he knew how to exploit his victories and cover up his defeats for the sake of public opinion. In France, everyone remembered the Battle of the Pyramids, which he won, while hardly anyone remembered the Battle of Aboukir Bay, which he lost. Widely recognized by the age of 30, he sought neither to be an aristocrat nor a revolutionary. When his mother reprimanded him one day, he famously replied, Io sono imperatore. In 1799, he affirmed, Io sono Bonaparte. 
he had become second to none. He had also mostly lost his Corsican accent. Sorry, I'm probably butchering that. Future King Emperor. Oh, oh, oh. You were saying. They're sassy Very together. Nicely done, my friend. I love that he's like so small. You just didn't, you don't really think about that when you're learning in history class. At least my history teacher didn't. I don't know. It's just cool to have a visual. Incredible. Find your prize. A cornucopia. Yes. And you? Believe so. Yes. This is it. That should take care of that. And may I suggest we leave? Quickly. What is that? Our way out. Cover me, would you? <laughs> Cute. From one sassafras to another. Okay, wait. I want my rifle, though. Yeah. Yes! Oh, well. It just takes a... Okay. It takes a while. But I'm having fun with this. Or do you just use a sword or something else? You are a demon with a blade. Demon with a blade. <laughs> Die. Get ready. Blank him. Get him off. Just a bit longer. No. Okay, I do not like the reload time. We're did you learn to fight? But we definitely get more. Where did you learn to fight? Where did you learn to fight? Uh oh, uh oh, oh! Imagine. Let's go. If Arno wasn't there to save Napoleon, Bonaparte. Search everything. I want those documents. Him. Damn. Yes, Captain Rui has that effect on people. Friend of yours? A persistent thorn I haven't quite managed to pluck out. He has information I need. I need to get back up there. In this mess, you'll never find him again. Come with me, I have a better idea. Oh, okay. You handled yourself well back there. I don't suppose you've ever considered military service? I'm... Sorry. Oh. Captain Frederick Rui joined the Garde Francaise in 1789, just in time to witness the beginning of the revolution. As the son of a poor cobbler, Rui had no hope of advancement into the arist aristocratic officer corps of the guards. And by the account of his contemporaries, Rui himself left no letters or journals behind and may have been illiterate. The rhetoric of the revolution found a true believer in him. When the bulk of the Garde Francaise defected to the Garde Nationale, Rui was among them. He rose quickly through the ranks, unhindered by his lack of aristocratic breeding, and along with Sun Terre was one of the key figures in the storming of the Tullier Palace. He was also a violent, sadistic monster who used revolutionary fervor as an excuse to murder and pillage his way across France. But we all have our faults. I mean, I chew my nails. <laughs> Not much for following orders. I sometimes have low ah, blood sugar. The bane of generals and statesmen everywhere. An individualist. I know the feeling. Men like us have a great advantage over most in the army. You see, we can think for ourselves. If you joined up today, you'd be a marshal in ten years, guaranteed. Yes. A generous offer, but no. <laughs> no. Where the heart leads, a man must follow. Look me up if you ever change your mind. <laughs> That's funny. Bonaparte is my name. Napoleon Bonaparte. Second lieutenant of artillery. For now. Arno Dorian. A pleasure. And as a personal favor, if anyone asks, I was never here. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Watch the whole thing from a furniture shop across the carousel. Hee <laughs> hee. A face in the crowd. Of course. No, Napoleon's fighting, uh, following me. That's how it's working. moment you may want to take cover ah. oh my god bro i love his nose everything all right sir fine corporal superb shot Regular drills are critical to a regiment's success. We should be going, sir. <laughs> we part ways here. <laughs> I need to take... This... Give me a few days. <laughs> I'll see what I can learn of his current posting. Perhaps I can arrange an introduction. Thank you. Be well. Be well, Napoleon. Nice. I promise I'll try to disable that sound. <laughs> It's just, I love taking pictures, memories. That was so fun. That was so cool. So I think we only got two. Yes, but let's see what we can get. That is where we're going to end today. I'm excited. Oh, wait, gain mastery of long weapons. Oh, so this is, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're going to end today. Well, for the past two days. Uh, how much is disguise? So I'm getting annoyed. Two more. Okay. And also health would be nice. So I have long rifle. I can switch it up. Um, which one do I own? katana i think i'm gonna like this but i loved that I, this is like my favorite part of assassin's creed when they take these humongous famous historical figures and kind of rewrite history a little bit to um just i don't know like kind of put you in there and make you feel like you played a huge part and to me it's just the best kind of education like there's so many little things i didn't think about and there's something to be said about immersing yourself within the historical moment rather than just reading about it or listening and hearing about it. It's just so cool. But I'll see you very soon. I'm probably going to record tomorrow. And the guide says we got some, a couple more mains, well, one more main story and we have an, a few other things and then another main story. Thank you for being patient with me. Um, and kind as I had that weird blood sugar moment. And I know my gameplay was affected by that, but especially, you know, coming back to it today, I'm glad I did because I could enjoy this quest, this mission more. So I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I love you and I'll see you for the next episode. Bye.